Hello, welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin. Today, we're taking a look at the revelations of bid rigging in the construction sector. The Office of Fair Trading announced this morning it had fined 103 companies a total of £130 million after an investigation into building firms. The OFT said it had detected bid rigging activities on projects across England worth more than £200 million. I'm here with Deputy Head of Business, Graham Brown, who's been looking into this. So, Graham, which companies have been fined? Uh, well, locally, there's been Carillion, which is based in Wolverhampton. They got a fine of £5.4 million, pounds, and uh, Mansell, which is a sub subsidiary of Balfour Beatty and has an office in Stourbridge, they got a £5.2 million pound fine. It largely relates to something called cover pricing, which is where two, uh, two construction firms would sort of agree amongst themselves to both put in a high bid, so to artificially make it higher, and then obviously the, the, the winning team gets an unrepresentative fee, sort of thing. Right. And so is this going to have a big effect on the companies? Um, well, I mean, I know 5.2 and 5.4 million sounds like a lot of money, but Carillion is an enormous business. We, we reported on, on a number of, of uh, deals worth between 100 million and a billion. So, I mean, they're clearly a big company that can sort of get through this, but uh, it's, it's not great PR-wise. The, the OFT has come out and said, you know, to, to public and private sector bodies, don't just discard the companies on this list. But it's never going to do you any favours when you're associated with, uh, with a big thing like this. Right. Well, thanks, Graham. You'll be able to read more about that in tomorrow's post. We'll also have news of rising revenues for a Midland brewery and the postcode lottery that's leaving Midland computer game makers out in the cold. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Wow. Wow.